We are learning more information tonight about a local 15 year old boy accused of creating, posting and selling child sex abuse photos online. Flagler County deputies say when he was taken to the juvenile detention center in Daytona, he was allowed to be released back to his parents. News for Jack's I team reporter Kelly Wiley spoke with the sheriff and juvenile justice department. Kelly, what was written in the arrest report is pretty disturbing. Yeah, the descriptions of the photos and the videos are disturbing and worse. They end up on sites like Google kick other social media sites. But the big shocker the investigators tell me was the person accused of putting all of this stuff up, selling some of it and in some cases even making it. That person was a minor. This is the computer police say a 15 year old used to sell and create sexual abuse images of children between the ages of two and nine. To be a child himself uh, creating uh, uh, this child pornography and then selling it on the Internet. Uh, was was really shocking. Police say they got a tip from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children cyber tip line. The cyber tip revealing a name, number, date of birth, and Gmail account for the uploads. All of which led investigators to a Boonell home where the 15 year old lived with his mother and stepfather. Investigators say they searched his computer and found an email address that the teen admitted to using for trading, sharing, and selling child images. Investigators also found the PayPal account he admitted to using to receive funds for selling child images. He did look and distribute some uh, that was made by others, but he also made uh, some of his own um, with um, uh, children significantly younger. The bottom of the Flagler Sheriff's release reveals a different issue. Investigators say when they brought the teen to the juvenile detention facility in Daytona Beach, the facility refused to accept him and he was released to his guardians. Uh, DJJ is underfunded and so they don't have the ability to, to house and keep uh, these offenders. So what happens is they've created uh, what they call a point system. And if a kid does not get to a certain point, then they're not going to hold them. So this kid didn't reach under their system, the point system, because they said it's not a violent crime. DJJ describes it a little differently. It calls it a detention risk assessment instrument or DRAI. A spokesperson for DJJ says when a youth is taken into custody, they're screened and receive a score. That score determines the most appropriate placement before their detention hearing. It's used per Florida state law. I was certainly disappointed uh, because not only not only was uh, he not held, but he went exactly back to the environment that allowed this to happen. The sheriff says this was actually the very first uh, charge that came out of this new cyber task force that they've created. Um, in this case, Google actually reported this to the uh, cyber line and then that cyber hotline uh, told the Flagler County Sheriff's Office about it so they could investigate. And they say since this, they've actually also charged another person who was sending out, according to them, um, child sexual abuse images uh, from a home in Flagler County. Well, Kelly, do we know what's happened to the child he's accused of taking pictures of? A lot of the information in the report was redacted for good reason to protect the children's privacy. So we actually don't really uh, figure out from the report how uh, this teen had a relationship with these kids and how he had access to these children. Uh, we're going to continue, though, to investigate this and follow up on uh, where this child lands and where he is now, the one that is accused of, of disseminating this this these pictures. All right. Kelly Wiley reporting live for us tonight. Kelly, thanks.